Once you have successfully validated your account, now it's time to join the battle or get into the campaign server. Simply click right there. It might take a second to load. That's okay because it's connecting you to the server. Now immediately you're gonna be presented with several different options. First and foremost here on the left, we have all the nations and all the branches that you can select. That's fine. This is a, really the area you wanna focus on. In this case, the allies are overpopulated, which is why there's a delay. So help the underpopulated side. In this case, we'll join the German army. You could also do air force or navy, but it's really advisable you start with the army. Then you would go down here. You could either double click or select brigade. I'll go ahead and select brigade because that's easier. Now, because it's your first time logging in, it will say you're currently a recruit and have not graduated from basic training. Would you like to enter it now? If you hit yes, it will take you through a series of tutorials. They're a little clunky, but they do the job to kind of give you some basics. In this case, if we know most of our players, we're gonna hit no. Now, this is a, would you like to join a squad? It's highly encouraged that you pick a squad to join. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and join this one. If you don't want to, you can hit maybe later. Otherwise, I'm gonna join a squad. So, I've been recruited by Delems to join MSK. Delems is a player, MSK is a squad. Hit F4 to chat with your new squad. So if you have F4 on your keyboard, most of you do, that's how you communicate through text. Text in World War II Online is very, very important. So as you can see, I've already been welcomed aboard right now. I've also been placed on his mission, and this is the ready room. The ready room is where you can go ahead and spawn in. Uh, just for the sake of if you did not join a squad, I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. I'm gonna change brigade. I brief, briefly want to tell you about active battles. Anytime you typically join the game, your default tab will be active battles. You can see that they're ranked based on activity. Some of them have mobile spawns. That's what this check mark is. And these orange markers indicate your squad. This is an easy way for you to click around and navigate and see where the battles are. It is highly encouraged that you join the one with the most activity. In this case, you can also see there's an attack objective and a lot of combat going on. So to join that, you either double click or hit mission briefing. I'm gonna do double click this time. Now you can see I don't have many weapons available to me because I don't have a lot of rank, but also supply isn't great. If you run into this situation, and since it's my first time, I really don't have any rank, 0%, brand new recruit, just hit active battles, go back and find a different mission. In this case, maybe I will join my squad because I can know they're on there based on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there and suddenly I've got units available, perfect. So if you double click, you can select and reserve that unit and then spawn in by clicking this button. F6 is our help channel. This is your lifeline. If you're ever concerned, confused and don't know what to do, a lot of veteran players monitor this channel. So you would hit F6, or you can type enter period six, does this work? And you'll notice it sends that message, this help, this help channel is only for technical assistance between players, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you wanna make sure that this is working okay. We also have built-in voice comms. This is really, really important. So you could always hit V as in Victor or voice. Your V key will always project your voice and be able to talk to players in game if you need help. Since it's on target it means anybody who's in your mission or on the same target objective that you're on, right? So anybody who has a mission up to this town called Rusendal in this whole area that's on your side, regardless of where they're coming from, you'll be able to talk to them. Anyway, these are just some basic guideline starting points again. To select a weapon, you double click. You could also click right here and select weapon if you prefer. Tells you a little bit about that weapon. And then to spawn in, you go here and hit enter world. This always takes just a moment. And then here we are into a spawn point. In order for you to despawn, you hit escape. You just wait a second. If you wanna cancel, you can hit escape again. That will cancel you uh, from despawning. Once you spawn in, you just open up your map, hit M, and you can look around. This is a lightly populated mission right now. It's the beginning of a new battle. So be patient. It's going to take a little bit of time to figure out where to go. You can always ask on the help channel for guidance. Don't give up. 
it takes about a week or two to really understand World War II Online. Now that we have voice comms, new players are experiencing things much better than ever before. Many of us started the game without voice comms, and it was much harder. So my encouragement is don't give up. Give it a fair shot. Don't worry too much about the graphics and ask questions. It's your responsibility to learn how to play this game. If you, you know, This is a very serious game that requires a lot of effort. So give it some time and you will not be disappointed. Find out why players have been playing it for 22 years straight. Welcome aboard. And again, use F6 help when in doubt. Thanks for watching.